Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Now the next topic is rice. Rice belongs to the same family as maize, the family of grass, family graminiae. Rice originated from China in Asia. The rice has become a staple food around the world and is grown in most African countries around the coast, especially in Nigeria. The botanical or scientific name for rice is Orisa sativa. Orisa sativa. Orisa sativa. Land preparation, just like maize. The land can be prepared with the use of cutlass to clear the bush and the land is loosened and then the seeds are sown. Or you use the machine plow to clear the bush and narrow the soil. Ridges are not majorly required for planting of rice. We have varieties of rice too. We have to call the swamp or swampy rice. Then we also have to call the upland rice. The swamp rice is also called hydromorphic rice. Hydromorphic rice. Or we call it lowland rice. Lowland rice. The second one is the upland rice. Hydromorphic rice is called or lowland rice or swampy rice has a specific name of Orisa glyberima. Orisa glyberima. Why upland rice has the scientific name of Orisa sativa? Orisa sativa. Examples of swamp rice are toma, which we call tomato. Then we have a BG79, GFB24. The rest, uh, example of plant rice is agbede. Agbede, all these are produced in the country. Climatic and soil requirements. Rice requires temperature of 20 degrees C. Then it requires 75 centimeters to 120 centimeters of rainfall, all for upland rice. But for lowland rice, you need temperature and you need um, um, rainfall of 250 centimeters for swamp rice. That means swamp rice require more water than that of uh, upland rice. Then it requires soils that has light. That is light and fertile. Soil that is very light, that is very loose and fertile. Method of propagation. Rice is propagated by seeds. It is the seeds that we plant in rice. And we can do this manually with our cutlasses. Or we can do it mechanically with our planter. The seed rate of rice, that means the quantity of rice seeds that can plant one hectare. You need about 65 kilogram of rice per hectare to plant two or three seeds per hole. 65 kg per hectare. Planting dates. This depends on the part of the country. In Nigeria, planting date is March and April, May in southern Nigeria and between August and September in the north. April, May in southern Nigeria and August, September in the north. The reason is that maize is planted and rice is planted at the peak of rainy season. The peak of rainy season in the south is April, May. While the peak of rainy season in the north is August, September. Planting method. This can be done by broadcasting or by sowing or drilling at 2.24 cm deep. In other words, rice can be planted by broadcasting it Especially if it is swampy rice, then you can sow it into the earth if it's upland rice. And the depth should be two to four centimeters. Now, nursery practices. Swampy rice requires nursery practices. But lowland rice I and mean, upland rice does not require it. Swampy rice requires nursery practices. The upland rice does not. Upland rice can grow wherever you grow maize. Now, for nursery, you plant the rice on the nursery bed. You water it regularly, control the weeds, and then later you transplant it to the field. Spacing. Rice requires spacing of 25 centimeters 
to 30 centimeters apart, depending on the varieties. 25 centimeters to 10 centimeters apart in spacing, depending on the varieties you are talking about. Cultural practices. The things we've got to do after planting and before harvesting include supply and thinning, fertilizer application, weeding, pest and diseases control. These are according to how we studied it under the uh, MIS. You can consider the way I explain it under MIS. That's the way it is. But for fertilizer application, in rice, you apply one, about 150 kg of fertilizer per hectare. That is three bags. But for me, it's, it's about 400 hectares um, kg of fertilizer per hectare. That's four bags. Four bags of fertilizer per hectare in maize. Three bags of fertilizer per hectare in rice. Okay, maturity period. Rice mature between four months to seven months, depending on the varieties. Between four months to seven months. The harvesting. Harvesting could be done with the use of knife, sickle or combined harvester. Now, after you harvested in rice, what you harvest in rice is the red head, the panicles or the red head. That's what you harvest in the rice. And um, after you harvested the panicle, you've got to process it. The bones of rice are brought into about six stages. So dry, threshing, winnowing, parboiling, hauling and polishing. Now, sun drying, after you have harvested the red head, the pinnacle, you spray it, spray it on that sun for it to dry very well. When it is dried, you gather it together. You now beat it with club or with pistol, pistol and mortar so that the panicles can be removed from the seeds in the cover. The seeds in the cover is called pad rice. But this time around, it is jelly like. So when you beat it, Beat it very well with uh, the um, pestle or with a club, or you stop on it with a leg. The panicle will get removed from the pad rice. After that, you winnow. Winnowing is when you toss it in the air. The shaft will fly away while the real pad rice will remain. The pad rice is now taken on the fire in the pot and boiled for about 12 to 15 hours. During that period, of boiling, the rice, the paddy rice, would, the rice, jelly-like rice inside, or paste-like rice inside the paddy rice, will coerce, will come together and will become thickened. It also allows some of the protein on the wall of the paddy rice, on the husk, to come into the rice. After it has been parboiled, you do what you call air drive. Air dry is when you spread it <laughs> under closed condition, open condition for wind, air to blow and reduce it. Then you take it to honey. Honey is processed by which the cover, the coast of the seed is removed. This is called honey. Honey is like shelling. You remove the covering of the rice and then you get unpolished rice. The polished rice can now be polished with certain chemicals. Then all the rough parts of the rice will be removed. During hauling, what to remove is called rice bran. The rice bran is the cover of the rice, the test of the coat of the rice, seed of rice seed, which will be removed. That's called rice bran. This rice bran can be used to feed animals like poultry. Then the real rice will be polished and then served. Polished rice is very sweet and delicious. But it does, it's not as nutritive as your polished rice because polished rice has lost most of its uh, um, protein content. And when eating, it can, more too much of it can lead to disease known as berry, berry. Remember, it's the deficiency of certain vitamins in the body. Storage of rice. How do we store rice? Rice, after they've stored as a uh, process, they are stored in silos or in jute bags. The pest of rice. The pest of rice include birds, rodents, and rice weevil. Birds disturb the rice on the farm. They try to eat it up. Rodents equally do the same thing. The rice weevil affect the rice on the farmland and in the store. This can be eradicated 
by different methods. Birds, by gun, by catapult, by scarecrow, and by not speaking, by beating drum. Rodent, by setting traps, you can overcome them. Rice with you, by chemical spray, you can overcome them. The use of rice include rice smut, rice blight, and brand new spot. All these are fungal diseases and they can be overcome by early harvesting, by also spray of fungicide. By spray of fungicide. Now, these are all about rice. Uh, some questions will pop up, you know, and you try to answer them. Should you find it, have it, find it difficult to answer some of the questions, don't hesitate to go back to the video and listen again. God bless you.